Hi guys, it's Aaliyah. Welcome back to my channel. So as you can see, I have made some, oh, sorry, let me adjust my mirror. Um, oh, that didn't work. I'm sorry if I'm shaking the camera. I just gotta get it right so I can see what I'm doing, sort of. Um, so as you can see, I made up a bunch, well not a bunch, I made up four traveler's notebooks that are Christmas themed. And I know I did a couple videos just kind of showing the progress. And then I kind of, as you can see, went full on and um, <laughs> made four of them. So they're actually all, I believe, exactly the same. I think like 98% the same except for the papers that I used. Um, but as far as the page number, um, the size, and how I did like pockets and stuff, they're all exactly the same. So I'll go through one, and then um, what I'll do is kind of sort of flip through fast the other three. Uh, so let's, well, you know what, I'll just keep those there for now. So they all have little jingle bells on the bottom, as you can see. And they all have the red ribbon, just like little red ribbon closure. So let's take that one off. And what I decided, I remember one of the videos, I had something to go on the front, but I actually really like the way they are just plain. Because it kind of, if you put something on it, it sort of takes away from each of the covers that I chose specifically. You know what I mean? So I just decided to go with plain covers. So they're all um, sewn with red thread all the way around, as you can see. But I did put a snowman on the first page of each one of them. So, you know what? Actually, I want to go... Let me see. Sorry, I just hit the camera. Let's see right there. Let's try that. Okay, so um, the inside, well, the cover and then the inside are two pieces of, of the patterns, um, the scrapbooking paper that I uh, glued together and then sewed. So that way it makes it a little bit more sturdy. So here we have a little corner tuck. This, if you saw my um, a video a while back, one of my co-workers got these for me. And they're actually Christmas cards. But what I did was I cut them in half um, and then turned this into a journaling card. And then I have the other half um, later on in the book. And then what I did was these um, little journaling cards I made, they were actually the bigger cards. And I think they were like... I don't know, four by six cards that came with the paper, like the paper pack. But what I did is I scanned them and then I shrunk them down so that way they fit inside the traveler's notebook, like the size. And then all the scrap paper that I had left over, you know me, I don't want to waste it, so I turned everything into journaling cards. So here's a little flip up and a flip down. And this is one of those um, fuzzy stickers I got at Michael's. And I did a haul video about that. Um, we have a pocket here, as you can see, I did the scallop, um, punch kind of like as a thumb pull. And, um, here's one of my sideways library cards, a, um, journaling card, and then another one of the journaling cards from the kit that I shrunk down. So on the back of each of the pattern papers, I put the pocket or the tuck spot. That way it's not so bare. And then I left these pages blank so you can write on them, put pictures on them, whatever you want to do. And then here's a little side tuck. And these were actually from the kit. I didn't copy them, I just cut them out. So there's a bunch of these types that are tucked in them and those just, they, um, they all came from the paper pad. Here's a little pocket. I never know if I'm pushing too far. I don't want to bend the paper. There we go. I love that, the little, like, little Christmas trees. And then here, so see, here's another one of the little tags from the paper pad, and then a little 
journaling card. And then here is the middle of this one and it says Merry and Bright. And then again, that is from the paper pad. And another little flip up and flip down with a little, um, it's like a felt sticker. Another little pocket with some journaling cards in there. And another thing is sometimes I, I take them out all at once, but I can't ever put them back together all at once. So I'll just put those in like that. There we go. All right, am I still in frame? Good. So here, there's another little tag. So they're very nice and simple traveler's notebooks um, that you can put, and they're not huge, so it's not like you have to fill, you know, something big. It's perfect just for the, you know, for the holiday season, you know, just for Christmas or Thanksgiving or whatever you want to do. I mean, granted, they're Christmas themes, but, you know, I think it's just enough room to put all your memories for one year. Um, here is the other half, and this is just the, a blank journaling card, the other half of the card from the front. And I did leave this on. Um, I didn't want to cover it up, you know, just so you know where it came from, because it was a little Christmas card. And then we have the back. So I will quickly just flip through the rest. I'm not going to take everything out of each individual pocket, only because you've seen it in this one, and it's basically the same in the rest. So here is the cover of this. And let me make sure I stay in frame. There's our friendly snowman. See, again, the way they're set up is exactly the same. Oh, this one, it was different. This is the one I did, I was working on first. And I put these here. I didn't put them in any others, um, just because I kind of like the way this looks without them. But then sometimes you want to write on here. So I gave two little spaces. So another little pocket there. There's the page from the kit. Of course, we have those two. Another flip up, flip down. And then another pocket. And all the little cards are exactly the same. I just made four copies and I cut them out. So this one has the Merry and Bright just like that one does. Or did, does. <laughs> and another little pocket there. So, as I know, I kept repeating myself exactly the same, but um, different because of the papers that I used. But the same setup, the same pockets, the same tuck spots, except for this one. This is the only one that's different because it has these um, squares on there. And then the end. So that's that one. And then next... We have this one here. Oh, and the bells on the bottom are different. There's two that have the red jingle bells, and one has gold, and then one has silver. So that's really the only difference also. Oh, not the only, but that's another difference. There's our friendly little snowman. Actually, if I just put it here. And I'll flip fast through the, the last two. Um... I don't really even have to talk about them as much because you know exactly pretty much how the setup is going to go. And here, oh, this is a different middle. So here's some, I don't know what those are. Christmas stuff and then the bells. And then pages, little pockets, the flip up, flip down, pages for journaling, two journaling cards. This is the Merry Christmas part of the card. 
and then the back. And then last but not least, this one here. And this has the little red truck with Santa, which is super cute. Um, let me just see how I am for time. Oh, okay, I'm good. Um, and I'm back in frame, good. Friendly snowman. This is the only page, it came with the pack, uh, the paper pad, but for some reason I look at it and I think fall almost, not Christmas, like somebody's plaid shirt, um, like autumn, but came in a Christmas pad, so it's Christmassy, but it just reminds me it's more of fall. I don't know why, even though, you know, fall and winter, they're right next to each other, but it's just, I don't know. Oh, and this, okay, so two of them have this, and then the other two have the merry and bright. I don't know why I thought it was something different in each one, the middle pages. Obviously, I was wrong. The flip up, flip down. There's Santa. And then the back. So, um, these little cuties will be available in my Etsy. I'll leave all the information below. And if you have any questions or comments, feel free to leave them in a comment or leave them as a comment below. And if you haven't subscribed to my channel, please do. I would so appreciate it. And as always, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.